We just saw Brienne walk out of a coffin, yeah. so who knows uh, what's next. But the Haunted Castle and Black Forest have been around for more than 40 years. But what goes into making it happen? Well, let's check back in with Wayne 15's Brienne Boswell. She's live there this morning to show us. Brienne. Good morning, Pat, Emily. Yes, it's been quite an adventurous morning for me. I feel like I've been pretty brave today. Joining us this morning is Patrick T. Kent. He's going to tell us all about this place and what all goes into it. So we've talked about the history of it this morning, you know, all kinds of different things. But I really want to know what makes this place so unique and what are some things that people may not know about this place? Yeah, so there's kind of a lot of things going on in the building that you may not know. We have slides. Um, that kind of get you from one floor to the next because it is a multi-story kind of building that we have going on um, as well as some drop coffins um, where you get into a coffin and the floor drops out from under you um, so we kind of we like to keep it interesting so every year we're changing um, different rooms we get new props um, the theme of some rooms change completely each year um, so it's kind of whatever we come up with each year that kind of decides what we change. All the more reason why I will stay, be here when no one else is here, that's for sure. Speaking of people being here, about how many people go into this operation to make it happen each and every night you guys are open? Um, it's about 200 to 300 people um, in total, and that ranges from our parking lot security to our midway security to our haunt actors and people kind of behind the scenes making sure that everything's functioning correctly during when we're open for the guests so no one ever realizes when something does break it gets fixed almost immediately. You guys have been in operation since 1980. You were closed last year. So what's the excitement to be back this year and in operation? Yeah, I think everyone is kind of, without the year, people didn't really know what to do with the time, especially the people that put it on each year. Um, so we're really excited to get back into it um, and to put on the haunted house again for the public. Um, we know the public has been antsy to get back out mm -hmm. to the normal world um, and Halloween's always been a popular time and everyone loves getting scared so we it's been great for both parts. Speaking of the people why should people here locally in Fort Wayne attend each and every year this Haunted Castle and Black Forest? I think it's it's a great opportunity for one to get your whole family together and come out to be scared together. Um, I would say we're an all ages haunted house so we try to appeal to literally all ages um, so it is a great family event. Um, it's also put on by the St. Vincent Scouts, so you're helping a great cause. Um, all the proceeds for this funds our programming to allow our scouts to go on camping trips, um, leadership experiences, things like that. All right, Patrick. Well, thanks so much for all the information yeah. and live interviews this morning. Again, I will be here when no one else is here, and that's probably about it. <laughs> live off Auburn Road, Brian Boswell, Wayne 15 News.